I'm Greg Bobinger. I'm director of the National High Magnetic Field Laboratory. And for me, my show and tell is a telescope. Uh, in school, I was interested essentially in every class I took. And so I wasn't clear in my own mind what I wanted to do when I was an adult. And I started off in engineering, but I found it was unsatisfactory because the questions didn't seem to be profound enough. Uh, they didn't address how nature works, and I found that that was far more interesting. So I wanted to know what was behind the equations that we were using in engineering classes. And so I discovered astronomy and uh, bought this telescope and uh, enjoyed spending very cold evenings uh, looking at stars in the middle of cornfields in Indiana. And that was exciting because it was clearly more fundamental to look at what's out in the universe than uh, you know, how to design a circuit, in, in my own mind, much more interesting. Uh, but it, somehow astronomy for me was just observing. Uh, there wasn't enough hands-on. There wasn't enough manipulating. I found that materials physics and condensed matter physics, as we call it, this, the study of stuff um, that you can put your hands on, uh, in my case via the use of magnetic fields typically, was exactly the kind of sandbox that was the most exciting uh, type of sandbox for me. And oddly, uh, it's a lot like looking at the universe. And the reason that's the case is, first of all, the questions are just as fundamental in terms of how a material works uh, and what properties does it display as uh, watching what's happening in the universe at large. And in particular, the electrons in any given material, if you want to study how they behave, those electrons live in a different universe in each material. Uh, and so in some materials, the electrons can move around freely, like in a metal. Uh, but some of the most interesting materials we're studying now, the electrons can only move in two dimensions. So for them, the universe is two-dimensional. There's some materials where the electrons can only move in one dimension. And then there are other materials where the electrons can't move at all, and they only interact via their magnetic fields. And then the way they interact depends very much on their universe. If the electrons are organized in some material so that they're on a square lattice, like a checkerboard, those electrons behave magnetically very differently than if they were constrained to sit on a triangular or a hexagonal lattice. And so every material that we study, that I study in physics, is a different universe for electrons. And I got to these universes uh, via the big universe, via this telescope.